and through the US and I have to remind you that uh, this uh, meeting will be recorded um, and uh, by the end of uh, uh, the, the meeting, uh, the presentation that Orestes will share with us, it will be available to, to all. Uh, and um, we have the pleasure to uh, offer him the stage to enlighten us uh, uh, on what is EIT Digital all about. So Orestes, uh, feel free, the floor is yours. Uh, um, any questions you may have, please uh, feel free to pose them on the chat and uh, we may start. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for having me. I couldn't imagine better uh, introduction of me. Uh, thanks a lot. It's, a, it's a really great to be here today and to discuss with you. I see this as an opportunity to discuss. I know that I have a very long presentation with many slides. I'm not going to use all of them as I promised to the organizers. Uh, so be, feel free to raise questions. Feel free to uh, to, to interrupt if it is something burning. Uh, we need to work as a community and by that I can also start. Uh, hello. Um, by that I can start uh, explaining you what is the EAT and EAT Digital. Uh, it's a good tip for all of you is that the things that I'm going to present are, are very similar to, to the things that we do also in other kicks in other digital and other EAT communities. Eh? So the structure of EAT digital resembles a lot the structure of the of the other. So you can get a good uh, insight of what is the EAT in this knowledge innovation communities, the so-called kicks. So but let's start. Let me know. OK, this is, uh, let's say, our vision, our mission. Um, we don't we are, see the presentation. Or is this? Sorry? We don't see the presentation on the air. No, no. OK, let me let me stop sharing and I will share again. Now? Yes. OK, perfect. Perhaps I can. OK, and now it should be even better. So. What, what you need to remember is that we are a partner based organization. So EAT Digital now counts 300 plus partners. And of course, being a, an organization that uh, was founded by the European Commission, our vision and our mission, it's an extension of the Commission's uh, goals and, uh, and objectives. Some numbers, uh, you, usually they're helpful to understand the uh, what is the identity of one organization but uh, as you can see ours is pretty, pretty bored from uh, 300 uh, 3500 uh, graduates this is the talent pool to 1000 engaged investors the 350 partners that i mentioned and we have uh, mobilized raised 1.3 billion for the our startups and scale ups the last 10 years and I'm happy that my colleagues in EIT also put the hub as a one important uh, um, activity of uh, of my organization. But look at also that what is that super important for me, for you to understand is we have 24 offices. Now we have two of them are in Greece, one in Thessaloniki and one in Athens. We just recently uh, officially opened the office in Athens. So one thing that you can we can easily understand is that uh, EAT Digital it's a door to Europe. I can start by saying because the most of you are entrepreneurs, we can what we are trying to do essentially is provide uh, Europe as a service in a way, and this is where, how how we do this through our our hubs. We have colleagues working in each of them. Some of them are a bit larger hubs, larger offices. But uh, the main idea is that we have people on the ground to allow us to develop this kind of activities that um, leverage on the single market and create opportunities for the different startups in the different markets. Um, some of them are coming in Ireland and in, 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 in Bulgaria. Um, so stay tuned for this, but two hubs in, in Greece, so we need to do something about it with them. OK, this is, a, let's say, the main slide, 
if you do, want to, if you need to remember one slide of what is EAD digital, you should remember this one. So from education to unicorn, this is what we are trying to support. Super broad. But our role is just to fill the gaps or to see where the, where are the, the links between those two steps are uh, weak and create the added value for the ecosystem. So we have, as I said, master programs, summer schools, professional school. We will take a look at them soon. And services for raising series A and series B and even grow to different markets outside the Europe. This is where I, uh, I step in. Is this the landing to US program? One of them. So this is, please remember this. And now we'll try to, to, to give you some concrete examples of activities that we do in order to support this part. It doesn't mean that we only uh, support students to, to create ideas that will become unicorns. Of course, we can step in in each of these uh, uh, steps and and, and support where, where it's needed. One important thing, and when we pre pre preparing this session, I, I mentioned this to, to the colleagues from Hellenic Development Bank, and that I know that the most of you are entrepreneurs, but I would like to take a moment and a few minutes to emphasize the need of education and entrepreneurial education and investing in talent. The, main problem of euro right now is exactly this and not just europe of us as well we have the technologies we know what we can do what we could develop we missing the talent we don't have the talent eat now not just the EAT digital as a whole the eat promised to commission that we retrain reskill and upskill one million people the next three years and us is constantly looking to create collaborations with that in order to have this access to talent. So we have really good talent in Europe uh, that uh, is, is doing this nice trip to US in order to start working there. So it's also strategic for us how we're going to leverage the, this talent in Europe. And this is by creating this entrepreneurial education and collaboration between corporates, and, and universities. So we have master programs. I will okay, I'll quickly mention this so you can see the numbers, some of the programs. We have the ma okay, okay, this is a pictures of the images from our last uh, ceremony uh, and, and summer schools. But what is the, the important thing to be mentioned? What is the interesting part for you or for the whole Europe? I say it's not just another program on IoT and platforms, for example. It's an entrepreneurial product, even the master school, meaning that the, the thesis, the thesis of the students could be a solution to a corporate challenge. And this is actually how we work with our partners, the corporate partners. So we're inviting them to send us the challenge that will later be solved by the students. And bottom line, the students need to create a solid business plan as a thesis. So it's a super uh, entrepreneurial focused programs and uh, we're working very hard with our uh, partners to create synergies, transatlantic synergies through these programs. For example, now and hopefully next year we can we will be able to do the same uh, in Greece. We, we are organizing a program with UCLA in Ljubljana and the, the students of the UCLA will work in, uh, um, we will we'll have some internships in local uh, businesses. So you can so see. So Orestes, usually yeah. you just adding calls and uh, these calls, they're just getting replies from anybody who wants to be invited. And how, how very quickly, you know, because you, you yeah, have yeah, lots yeah, of things yeah, to yeah, say. So yeah. very quickly, if you can tell us, you know, the, the procedure so, very quickly, though, because I know you have plenty of very things to quickly, say. Very quickly, very quickly. You're right. The summer school will have an open course. If someone for for the universities that might be interesting to organize one. But if you are a if you are a corporate and you want to submit a challenge, then you need to contact us. You need to be one of them. Usually we we'll only provide this service to our partners. So you need to become a partner to have this opportunity to solve uh, your challenges for you. But um, in general, I mean, this is the general, um, uh, uh, let's say, rule for us is we open calls. 
when we want to engage something. So you can find all, all of this information on our website and when it's available. I have, I think, another slide later about the challenges. So you could also see this. So I'm going through very quickly the professional school, eh, 62 slides, so I promised that I'm not going to use them. But this is where I well, this is what I just described. So how we use the internships, uh, solving industry challenges to our uh, um, educational program. Uh, but this is really important. Eh? I mean, the, then you have a person that was is already uh, specialized to your needs. Uh, and someone that could really be useful and create value immediately. So this learning curve um, can be optimized uh, um, as much as possible. So as I promised, I will go through quickly the education, but I wanted to give. And then it's not only that, of course, eh? it's from student to unicorn. So there is the... Um, there is this step of how we can support these ideas of the students, I and mean, not only the students of entrepreneur, for example, Seth Eketa used one of our programs in order to launch an innovation, uh, the, a robotics, a robotic solution. Sorry, I forgot, I cannot recall now the name. We have our virtual program. So again, open call, we open it, we will open it very soon in March. You can apply if you have just an idea. It's not an horizon project. Eh? It's much easier. We want to find the good ideas. This is the purpose of this venture program. And if we find the one, if, then what you can get as an ideator? One and a half, almost two months support, incubation support, experts working with you, and up to 25K financial support to launch it. There are some steps in order to have the full access to this 25K, but the, the, the standard, the minimum, it's uh, 10, 10, 15K in order to launch your activity, to start working with us. What we will get, a small equity, but uh, we are a passive uh, investor, so our, our shares will be diluted. We'll just do this in order to refuel well, this engine. No. Sorry, yes? Okay. I see. Um, how we provide these uh, incubation programs, and maybe now you can better uh, map uh, our, our dear partner foundation. It's through our partners. So foundation is supporting us by providing the incubation support uh, in Greece, in Greece, and also supports a couple of other countries, Bulgaria, Romania, I think Malta and Cyprus. But OK, we have also the seed level. Uh, so we have we have the students, the ideation, the very, very early stage, and we have the open innovation factory. What I'm about, and this is important, what I'm about to present to you is only for this year. Next year, we will change the program completely. So but this year, because we have another two cutoffs before we change it, uh, this is what we're going to do for already established early stage startups, so with uh, one or two years already in the market, uh, less than three years, as you can see, we are co-funding up to 50% of, uh, of, the, um, of, the, of the funding round. So we can provide up from 10 to up to 200K, 400K, sorry. We receive five to 10, of course, we will see the, the evaluation of the startup. We're going to discuss with them. As, as I said, eh, we're a passive uh, investor. We're really looking forward to support good startups. This is our main goal. The equity, uh, it's something that uh, we can discuss with the, with, the, with the founders. For a six months long program, uh, in order for them to access new markets, to maybe even uh, develop further their technology. What is the important things to be said there is that we are giving this money in order for the startup to work with another company. For example, I will give you a simple example of what I mean. We want a Greek startup to collaborate with, um, with a technology provider, for example, in France, in order for them to access this market. So we will fund this activity, this expansion of the startup, let's say, to another market. So, but we want to build bridges. As I mentioned, we would like to provide you as a service 
to open the EU and support the single market. So this is why we are uh, promoting these collaborations between different organizations in the market. So this is why it's uh, an op the name is Open Innovation Factory. So we, because we have this kind of activity and nature in the program. And last but not least, of course, we will continuously support the startup uh, uh, with um, by building connections and uh, bridges with the VCs and business angels networks. We have some very good uh, examples, but I'm not going to miss. This is um, a program again for executives or for startups specifically. We have some Speedmaster courses, very specialized for uh, startups and for startup founders in order to uh, get access to useful insights and start using uh, using them to to boost their activities. As I said, for us it's important that skilling and upskilling skilling is at, co at, at core of our activities and our goals. Just an idea of things that uh, you, you can get uh, and the, the knowledge that we'll try to to provide to to the startuppers and. Um, Okay, then we have we're, we will also now going to the next one. I'm going to explain you what is a deep hack. It, it's an our hackathon style of hackathons, the digital champions, which is important for startups, the corporate innovation club, and of course the strategic partnerships. Um, I mentioned before when I show you the showed you the the student to unicorn that we also support the series A. So we have an accelerator. In 2015 was listed top 20 accelerator, I think, in the world or in the Europe. And um, just recently, uh, I don't, I cannot recall now the um, the consultancy that uh, created uh, created uh, the ranking. The EIT was ranked 10th in the world, 10th accelerator in the world. So we're really good, and this is because we have the access to EU, as I said, and uh, also the they have in US. Very recently, we supported a, a European startup to raise six million from Microsoft. I think this is a very simple thing. Then we don't have an open call. You can just go to our website, apply. We have a standard program, and then our colleagues will uh, start working with you in order to to support you in accessing the finance and access to market depends on your needs. Um, an idea of uh, our, let's say, ecosystem of uh, national fast business angels with whom we are working in order to make this happen. And um, some success stories. Ariadne Maps, it's, uh, it looks like it's a German, but actually the, the founders are Greeks and they are doing very well. They managed to access the uh, US very fast and they have a great potential in the future. Uh, again, uh, also the this is early stage startups, by the way, all all of the four of them. So, for and example, they, of Ariadne Orestes, what did they get from you? How uh, did they get initial funding? Yes, Ariadne Ariadne Maps joined the Open Innovation Factory, mm -hmm. so the leverage on this tool. They okay. was a spin out of a university, mm -hmm. and they submitted a proposal. They were really good. They got the 400k. Mm -hmm. Now they are a part so the, of our... the ceiling. The ceiling is 400k. Yes. Yep. Yep. Right. Okay. And then the 400k. You, and then they transform that to equity. Indeed. You, yes. Okay. I don't, how I how much equity stake did you take, if you remember? I mean, less than 10 percent. Okay. Less, but as I said, but I mean, in the next rounds, our percentage will be diluted. Uh, we are passive investor. Uh, passive I investors. Put, and and I, and I presume that you don't that you don't do the valuation. You follow the valuation that they already have, for example, or not? No, we do a due diligence. We are also looking at the numbers. No, when you apply to the Open Innovation Factory, then you need to submit uh, um, your financial forecast. Uh, a good explanation of the market and all of those things will be evaluated by us but in a committee of external evaluators. Mm -hmm. uh, good for you to know that uh, these people usually are evaluators for both EIT and EIC, uh, another mm -hmm. tool that uh, is useful for the European ecosystem. So no, I would say even though the application, and thanks a lot again for, for um, 
raising this question. Even though the, I would say the application, it's not uh, very, very hard. Again, for any of you that, for those of you who ha uh, have some experience from uh, Horizon proposals, it's not anything like that. It's a very business uh, focused application. So even though this it's not that hard, uh, the analysis that we do, it's pretty thorough, I would say. I mean, we're, we're not gonna just um, uh, trust blindly the, the numbers that the applicant will provide. We're also gonna evaluate them and do uh, a background check. So, but um, there is a huge potential Something that I didn't put there is that uh, unfortunately, the only reason why we don't have many Greek startups and Greek success stories in, is because we don't have we don't have many Greek applications. And again, I think we can all agree that this is not a reflection of our potential as a Greek ecosystem, but rather the lack of awareness. And this is something again not related perhaps too much to EAT, that. Um, but in general is relevant for you. This same conclusion was um, was uh, the result also of the EAC assessment. So the Greek the Greek ecosystem, the Greek innovators do not apply uh, to the to the EAT and the EIC calls. And as I said, that was mostly part uh, no part it was mostly because of the lack of awareness. So. This is why we are here, though, and we would like to change this. Um, because in, in the opening, in this one, as I said, we didn't have many applications. In the previous one, the venture program, we do have many applications from Sorry, Greece. And, and very good, uh, we have already very good results coming. Very good startups. So again, uh, to recap, uh, you offer education, you offer uh, acceleration incubator, correct? Uh, yes. You have you offer a combination of both, uh, combined also with uh, funding, which uh, leads to a passive equity stake, and uh, the sky is the limit. There, please go ahead. Thanks. This is relevant for our scale ups and startups. Eh? For, I mean, for the European scale ups and startups so we do this competition this is what it is it digital champions you can apply and we have uh, corporates that they are uh, sponsoring this we're organizing one or two depends because we have to do two concepts sometimes if there is uh, much um, uh, if we have enough support from our partners uh, to co such a competitions you can see the numbers are pretty passive we have like something like 400 500 applications uh, every time and the winners also get for free this uh, access to finance service among other things depends every year we're trying to make it bigger and bigger and to to make it more useful for the for the startups that apply so i would again advise you to take a look at our website very soon we will open another one so another opportunity it's a pitch competition. This is what it is. We have many rounds, and uh, at the end, I mean, you can receive some great benefits from our ecosystem, from our partners. Um, okay, more more details for you. Some numbers. Uh, you can see some uh, final list. Unfortunately, I'm not aware of any Greek one, uh, but. Uh, Please, I think hopefully soon we can change this together. Um, more details, okay. And this is where I where I'm, I'm working the last months and what we're trying to do. Another opportunity. So on top of all of those things, we also support a US landing program. Again, I will put an emphasis where supporting the access to market it's a 12 week but it's not that intense it's highly intense yes but it's 12 week because we're working and we want to work with a vpc or c level of scale ups so these people are have already in the market yeah, they have raised already 10 million or they have a, a revenues of uh, 2 million up to two, at least two million. So we like this is the specific group of companies that could benefit uh, from this uh, activity. In order 
to understand how their solutions could fit to the US map, uh, market. It's a completely different mindset there. So we are working closely with them in order to make sure that when they go and they want to access into the market to talk with the, with the key stakeholders and the relevant customers, they will be ready to, to address uh, their questions and um, the financial um, unique uh, perspectives, I would call it, from, of the US ecosystem. So you see, we do a readiness assessment and we try to adjust all of the different elements in their business plan in order to fit the US market. Of course, at the end, we will have one week in, in US with them in order to also open some opportunities uh, to meet with some potential customers or to set up uh, the legal entity in the in the valley that week. So, but we and, only focus. And you don't travel. You don't cover travel costs. You don't cover no. uh, state costs. You just give uh, no. not just you know twenty k per company and uh, all the um, let's say preparation and mentoring. Correct. Yeah, I will, yeah, it's twenty for the twenty five with a with a with a trip. No, and but I got yeah. Well, let's say you can find, and we are also happy, and we're also discussing this. You can find other soft soft landing activities to go the, to to the valley for one or two weeks to meet some people to pitch there it's okay but this is not uh, what a scale up uh, needs in order to access the market it's not a one week in the valley to meet a few people you really need to to adjust uh, your business plan when you're serious and you want to access the us market mm -hmm. uh, so this is why we uh, created this uh, this program Maybe I know that uh, this one week uh, with all expenses covered uh, might sound a bit uh, sexier, but uh, it's um, based on our analysis and uh, work. Uh, uh, this is what you actually need if you want to do serious business. Mm -hmm. the, so so 20, 20K is a grant practically, correct? No, no, 20K is the flat fee that uh, flat you need. Fee. No, no, no. That we are not receiving this. You pay. You're not receiving. You pay. Okay. Sorry. You pay. Yeah. In order to receive, and it's a super competitive price. Eh? The benefits of uh, working with an EIT, VIT, eh? and this is what how this uh, 12 weeks program looks like. And as I, it's not, uh, it's not that we have a meeting every day, but we want in the first week to address this, uh, these topics with. Um, with a C level and the VPs of the of the scale up. Um, let me know if you want. I may, maybe later I can put more. Uh, we can discuss further about the program. And then another opportunity, of course, is the strategic partnerships. Being an ecosystem and having an office um, almost everywhere in Europe allows us to create tailor-made services. And uh, from Horizon, the classic Horizon pro proposals or Erasmus Plus that we are also active there and you could see some numbers to applying to tenders or creating specific programs for our partners. And uh, this applies to startup scale ups uh, to, to, to large corporates. An example. And uh, since this is a HDB event, I think it suits the occasion uh, very well. We are now providing together with a consortium with other partners scouting services to European Central Bank because they are interested to find the best solutions available in the market in specific uh, solutions. For example, I mean, it's not uh, something um, super competitive. Right? Data anonymization could be um, uh, such a topic. So we are doing this work for them. And then it's up to our imagination to think uh, what we can do for you uh, depends on your activities and goals. One key area of our interest and work is artificial intelligence. We are super active there. I mean, I will also advise you to, and perhaps I will send in the chat uh, the link uh, when we start the, the questions round. Uh, we just recently launched a, a very easy tool that you can all use if you are interested to get to know more about the UAI Act, for example. 
We have another tool, the AI maturity tool that you can self-assess your company and to identify some weaknesses that could potentially be improved uh, by reskilling and upskilling or by uh, using a, a software that uh, will allow you to boost your AI capacities internally. Things that are also on top of what we are discussing. And you can see also some here, some strategical partnerships that all need some work to be done and extra effort to make them concrete, but all of them are super recent and we're really happy. We're really happy for them. Um, okay, the European Digital Innovation Hubs are part of the of the EU proposals topic that I I briefly mentioned before. So if you are a corporate, if you are a startup, it doesn't mean you see is the access to talent. Maybe now we grouped a little bit. Uh, what we can offer to you. So when we think about the talent and the education, it's access to talent, the speed masters for startups, the professional school, and you can sponsor student fellowships. Okay, this is for large corporates, innovation, open innovation factory, seed, up to 400K, we're getting equity, deep hacks. It's the hackathons that this is why I didn't mention a lot. We also, we can organize this. It's not our focus. If a partner really wants someone reliable to organize, we will do it. The venture program eh, from ideation to startup. This is just a, a, to refresh your memory. Very raw idea. Okay, send it to us. We will work with you in order to make it a, a successful startup. Strategic partnerships. I will call it our lab in a way. We can work as a lab, eh? a co-creation lab. We, we have the capacity to do this. And the digital champions, I mentioned this competition, pitching competition in simple words, I can describe it like that, for startups that through this can access different services. And uh, of course, they can get visibility at the European level. And um, again, with uh, the presentation with a link. The process, uh, this is, uh, I know Panayoti, you wanted me to do this. If you want to, to be to be member of uh, EAT Digital, yeah, then you go to our website, we have a registration form, you apply, then meeting the, if you meet the criteria, you're getting the green light, we'll ask you to have a letter of intent. Then the, our board and the strategy committee will give the, the final uh, approval in order you to be accepted in the Silicon Valley. We have different partnership uh, schemes, meaning that depends if you are um, a, a startup or corporate, the fee is different, but uh, you can find all of this information is available on our website. Can you still see my presentation? I think not. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can. You do? Okay, you can. Yeah. Sorry, we'll because... see how you become a partner of the process. Sorry, because I did something I wanted to. But we, we we keep on uh, having uh, good questions from uh, from our attendees, so uh, okay, uh, then, we should try some time to to, sure, to wrap up and discuss. Here. Yeah. No, no, don't stop. You know, unless you know uh, you but, you have uh, completed what you want to present because uh, it's very interesting and we have already questions. That, I think this uh, is the. I think that that was the main. I mean, I would really like to to check the questions because then I, I can be more useful. Our scope is pretty broad. So. Yeah, uh, I mean, so uh, th there is a quick question starting from the start. Uh, can uh, some of our employees attend uh, one of the master's programs you organize? If yes, what's the process and cost? Uh, the master programs for sure. Well, um, again, I mean, uh, when you check the, um, our website, but look, it's a, it's a bit complicated, meaning that uh, you need to study to two different uh, countries. It's uh, our master programs are, uh, are a result of collaboration between three or four uh, universities. So we have usually one uh, one year in one university and another one in uh, in the other one. Now we're also exploring the opportunity to do this uh, at sem at semester basis. So you can also go for one semester in uh, one university. But for sure, but if, if you want, I mean, I will also advise you to like, take a look at uh, the, uh, our, our summer schools that are really interesting. And I would say then our, my colleague there is doing really a good job in order to 
to create summer schools that are um, discussing and uh, something that is pretty pretty unique every time and uh, just for you by the way you have a one in 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 a gn in Syros this uh, summer really really interesting on maritime and ai and robotics what they do there at the university it's really impressive uh, and of course the professional school again what i said that we can create something tailor made applies also to the professional school so if you want to to really focus on something please let us know and this is what you can benefit from us because we have 60 universities so if someone wants to to focus on something we will find the best profession from the best university in order to give you this uh, mm -hmm. this knowledge so mm -hmm. this is okay. one other question what is the equity for 10 to 25k uh I think uh, it's again five to ten um, percent. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it, it's uh, it sounds a little bit way too much, but this is a notion that um, yeah, Indeed. perhaps we do share. Uh, so uh, yeah, but um, if that's the case, uh, that's the case. Um, and uh, the, the the question is that perhaps a little bit more funding is needed because uh, uh, you don't expect to kickstart deep tech with just 25k. Uh, no, but so... this is I mean where where the rest of our programs uh, can can help. So the whole the whole idea and one of our goals is to create a funnel, and this is what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. This was also the this journey uh, slide all about. So we're not going to stop there. Mm -hmm. We're also going to give try to give you access to the next uh, funding program, or if we connect you with the EIC. Yeah, I share also the same concerns, but um, what you need to remember is that uh, depends on the idea. We're always flexible and to, to discuss those uh, matters. Mm -hmm. Our main priority is to support uh, startups that have great potential. So we. We're not uh, fools. Eh? We see if the mm -hmm. we don't want to, to destroy the cap table in any way. So mm -hmm. always open to discuss those uh, mm -hmm. those matters with the founders. There is a, there is a notion of uh, needing to have the definition of the deep, deep tech uh, products. Uh, the uh, the question is whether they do include uh, or exclude software products. Um, and uh, yeah, this is a very interesting discussion. What we call deep tech nowadays in Europe, but <laughs> it's for another <laughs> meeting, I think. Uh, and what is it? What we call AI startup as well, because now we see also the trend that uh, if there is just the element of AI in part of the solution, the the startup prefers to to call uh, itself an AI startup. Mm -hmm. um, I see also the uh, some uh, questions regarding the. Um, uh, the, the Greek offices. Very soon we will hire the Greek hub uh, managers, ecosystem leaders, as we call them. So please stay tuned. I mean, very soon we will have the um, we'll have them on board. But uh, in the meantime, you can always reach out to me. And uh, we have also, uh, let's say, our regional uh, office in Madrid uh, that uh, is currently supporting uh, uh, our Greek partners. So let I mean I will let me perhaps I can also send you that. And I will write down now my email and you can you want something specific. Um, and needless to say that uh, what we do in the uh, Hellenic Development Bank is try to join forces with uh, um, EIT Digital and uh, in the near future, very near future, you will hear a little bit more from joint activities that uh, will touch uh, financial um, support schemes and non-financial support schemes because we do have some great ideas uh, coming together with uh, the support that EIT Digital is providing um, globally practically. Um, and uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Orestes, the job done by the local offices does not refrain the companies or anyone to come directly through the site to the offers that and the calls that EIT Digital um, so, you know, flushes and uh, so uh, 
it's uh, uh, the, so the existence of the local office is more for the networking and the establishing of the partner relationships, correct? But uh, any respondent can reply to any call. Uh, exactly. He he sees on the on the web. Exactly. Exactly. And um, you, you're totally right. This is the main focus, uh, the main task of the offices yeah, to to mobilize the, the ecosystem. But then anyone is uh, uh, is available is um, uh, c can apply. I mean, no matter if he has contacts with the hub or not. Mm. Uh, uh, one question. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Do you want to continue, way. please? No, no. No, I wanted to say I see a lot of questions about the deep hacks and uh, the mm. focus of the innovation factory. Mm. That's what I was I asking. Mean, it, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, in a way, of course, uh, we like to, to to support Europe's deep uh, deep tech capacity, but um, depends on the idea. I mean, as I said, we do an evaluation where if there is also a very good, it, it needs to have a digital element. But tell me one company or one startup that uh, it doesn't have a digital element uh, these days but uh, even if it if it's even if it's solving a social problem uh, or um, it could be something that would be interesting for us but uh, in general yes we are focusing on the deep tech technologies but this doesn't exclude other ideas it means that we will highly prioritize to support a deep tech uh, uh, solution but uh, and also we have we also have uh, one I question see. from uh, from Alexander a friend that uh, about the EIC. <laughs> oh. I see. I see. This is really interesting. Uh, um, oh yeah. Look, I mean, we are all uh, somehow connected to the Commission, and um, this comes also. There, have, there are constant problems. I mean, the colleagues in EIC are working hard to make it happen. It's not that easy, and. Um, for good or or bad, the ESC is currently the biggest VC on deep tech in Europe. So I understand your frustration. We are really working closely with them. So I know exactly what you say. But um, as I said, I mean, they're working hard in order to make it smoother. And uh, I'm looking forward to this as well, because we need a strong um, an EIC. And I also said, because I also see the 20K, uh, this question, I mean, you also uh, mentioned this before. I will tell you this, indeed, eh? and if you ask me personally if 20k are enough to, to start something on deep tech, the answer would be no, but uh, my answer, but then uh, it's uh, the reality sometimes that um, proves us wrong, meaning that we have very good startups that started uh, through the venture program. So, and as I said, we have also a very good Greek example, uh, Keta, that created a, a robotic um, I, don't, I cannot recall the name, sorry, apologies. Uh, some small robots and they are pretty active and they have, uh, they're increasing the, the revenues year by year. So um, it's uh, unique. I mean, how you should uh, look at those things is how you can use it in order to to to, bend, to align them with your goals. I mean, it doesn't mean that uh, the program... Um, uh, it's the only way in order to make it happen, but could be something that complement your whole strategy. Uh, and uh, George Foroglu, uh, we uh, we offer you the the access to your microphone. You can ask any question because you raise your hand. I don't know. Uh, should we? Okay, he doesn't have access. Uh, hang on. Um, Nikki, yes, you can apply from Cyprus. George, can you try now? Abnefsis? Um, I now see also Spiros. George. Yeah, Wait. yeah, yeah, he has access. You have access now, George. Maybe he's not available now. I mean, uh, but Spiro, though, I mean, uh, because I see now also the full question of Spiros. If you are interested in these programs, drop me an email, and as I said, I mean, I will connect you with a with a professional school colleague, and then I think you can work on this. 
Mm. Uh, George Foroglu, you don't you don't have access, huh? Something that I forgot to mention, we have almost also 320 portfolio companies that we are also supporting. And uh, the whole mechanism that I described resembles perhaps a bit a VC, but we are not a VC. Uh, we're using grants in a, in a unique uh, way, I would say. But in the next years, we will um, seriously consider uh, launching uh, NVC. So also please stay tuned uh, and uh, because it would be specialized on deep tech and uh, the focus will be again uh, pan-European. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, you may have the presentation. Sure. Yeah, we said it in the beginning. Yes, thank you. Ah, you're here, my colleague. Provided the name of the company. So it's Rosie, you're right. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yes, Seth. Spiros, the, the Akitai, yeah, the English name of Akitai, Seth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. George, uh, would you like to try again? Perhaps, uh, I see, I see. George for all loops. He says that he participated in the first virtual program back in 2018. Ah, take another piece. Ah, Just okay. want to no, share no. the experience. Sorry. George again. No. Okay, perhaps. Uh huh. Okay. Please let us know what you think. Um, but um, we, we did uh, some adjustments since then. It's not exactly the same. But... Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I, I think that um, it would be more prudent to invite uh, Orestes and the AT Digital in general for another series of uh, of uh, webinars uh, offering the chance to uh, practically focus on any uh, part of any program he he wishes uh, by the by the time even they will have a new call and uh, try to fuel the notion uh, in the local market of whom to attend when and uh, what are the benefits and uh, since now it's um, today is a very quick look on the portfolio of the toolbox that they already have uh, and it would be a pity why not uh, have uh, his experience to be shared with us um, in the near future i don't know if uh, orestes agrees on that uh, sure uh, if there is an interest i'm more than happy to to support such a series um as i said i'm always available and happy to to support the greek startups accessing the european uh, funding programs because I share your uh, concerns and uh, I know that it's complicated. And Panagiotis, because we discussed this, what should be, let's say, the, the advice or what you, you all need to do if you are interested, please go and check our websites. I know that I might look at the a bit complicated, but uh, we, are, we open the call. We are trying to disseminate. Perhaps maybe it's better if you, if you follow our LinkedIn uh, accounts. There, we have also other type of activities that uh, you could uh, potentially found uh, uh, interesting for you. We have uh, the Jump Starter or specific activities on AI or for women entrepreneurs, for example. Um, I couldn't mention all of them. It would take a week, I mean, because as an EIT, we have a very broad uh, scope and uh, it, it needs some uh, time investment from your end in order to to have the full picture. But uh, for but sure, now you have managed to pinpoint the potential of Greece to, to EIT Central since uh, you have an office in uh, Salonika, correct? Yeah, and in Athens. So, yeah. You have an office in Athens. Uh, so, yeah. Mm. Yeah, this uh, new, the new, the new colleagues, I think that will be the, your uh, main contact point with them when we will be, they will be on board. But then you can, you know, push mm. them and uh, bombard them with this. 
No, I mean, we, we with the IT Digital, in a few days, we will sign up an MOU. So both uh, news will come from our end also, because that's the, uh, you know, the main point of the collaboration to fuse the notion and the news of uh, EIT Digital in Greece. Um, right. OK, uh, as George Petrulia said, we will send the presentation to your emails after the webinar. And um, if you have no more questions, uh, we may release our rest is in time, but please uh, bombard him with questions if you have, uh, as he said. Um, you have his email address, so you have uh, our contacts anyway. Right. Thank you, thank you. So, it's a, it's a, it was a pleasure, really. It was a pleasure, Orestes. Thank you very much for you Thanks all. for the opportunity. Uh, thank thank you, you, guys. Thank you. Bye -bye. So have a good afternoon. Thank you again, Orestes. Thank you. Goodbye thank to you. all. Bye-bye.